Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Team Shift channel. My name's Cameron. I'm going to be showing you my top 32 deck list that I played this weekend at the North American Remote Door YCS. I finished 26th after Swiss, going 7 2 1, and I played Tielement. So, yeah, it was a solid choice. I wasn't too sure um, how to take the event. I wasn't too sure if people wanted to play Tier Mirrors over webcams or if more people played like Flunder, more rogue strategies. But I think I went with Tier because I was more comfortable with it and I had all the cards ready to go. Plus, with it being in um, America, I think a lot of people want to play Tia. Maybe if the event was in Europe, we'd see more um, rogue decks, like, um, sort of come through and be more represented, but plus we're in a sort of Tia 0.5 format, so I had to play the best deck to give me a good chance to top. Um, but yeah, I got there eventually, and I lost, unfortunately, in top 32. So over the two days, I played seven mirror matches, one Exosister, one Sprite, one Draco Slayer, and then the Flunderies in top 32. But uh, yeah, really happy with the result. Um, I'm playing YCS Sydney in a month, so just trying to build momentum towards that. And yeah, shout out to the team, of course, um, all the support across the whole weekend. Shout out to everyone in South Wales locals. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to show you guys my deck profile. Uh, any questions, drop in the comments. Uh, check the links to all the socials as well and yeah this is the deck so yeah it's the 40 card deck list uh, like i said i thought i'd play like a really consistent main deck uh, i wanted to play like bestials and um like non-engine spots as well which we get to so yeah without further ado let's get straight into it so i decided to play uh 12 tier names um they're all like very good mills and especially um, I want to play three Rhino Heart just for more consistency. And plus, you can side one out going second as well. So it's a good side out option. Um, I think two is like fine as well. But like I said, I just wanted like a consistent main deck that um, there was good, like um, flexible going first and second. Plus, um, having this in hand with Shayron is like a really good pitch. Um, because if they bistle you or double bistle you, you still have a level four play um, or rank four play. Um, so I wanted to like maximize the options of opening these two together. Um, but I don't think two is incorrect either, so it depends on how many cards you're playing in the main deck. Um, as well, I've seen some people cut this to two, but um, again, I just wanted consistent mills um, across the uh, Swiss. So, yeah, 12 names. Um, I decided to play uh, all nine bestials. Um, this is a third Jewess win, but I was borrowing a card off a friend. Um, because again, with it being North America, I expected to be um, be playing a lot more tier um, than say Flunder and like other rogue matchups. So I thought obviously the bestials are so insane in the mirror match. Um, having two or one uh, level six body for your turn, even if you're under Dweller, you can just beat over the field and make a potential um, Wallow or a Beatrice for the follow up turn is like so so strong. Um, so that's why I wanted to play all nine. Of course, if you're not playing the, the mirror match, they're really good side out options. Um, I think the minimum you want to play is like at least these um, three Magma and one Jewish Worm. I've seen some people play seven, which is fine as well if you're playing more Shizu cards and Orange Light. But um, yeah, I think I want to mess around with like Effect Baylor, Imperm as well. I think they're really good cards for because they cover other matchups as well as the mirror match because they're good to hit kit. But um, yeah, I think I'm not test around with that at the moment, but um, obviously the Bissiels is like so, so strong. So yeah, there is an argument to play seven or even these just like minimum. Um, but yeah, I wanted to play nine just because the utility of having a level a rank six toolbox in the extra deck is really, really solid as well. So onto the Ashizu cards. I only played uh, nine. Um, I think these are the best ones. Um, a Guido comes up if you're trying to mill um, a lot of cards from your opponent's deck, depending if you play talents. I think because I'm not playing talents in the main, um, I don't need to play a Guido. But if you're playing a Guido in a mirror match and trying to mill your opponent's deck and then taking cards, or you can even like look at your opponent's hand and build your board around their hand um, for a Fable matchup. But I, th I think that's a solid like game plan. Um, but I wanted to play the 9 just because, again, they're consistent. Um, I'm playing 40 cards. This isn't a terrible hand trap in the mirror, um, but again, it's just like a mill five against the non-mirror. And obviously these shuffle backs are just too, too strong in the mirror. They're just insane. A lot of games I was winning um, or losing is if I'd have this on their turn and mill a shuffle back in a name or just a shuffle back on its own was like so strong. Um, 
but yeah, I would like to maybe try out the orange light still. I think um, I was missing like a blowout card. I didn't really see instant fusion much like the whole weekend. So having another one of like power spell, even like foolish burial would be good as well. Um, in the main, because you can send like a um, send a shuffle back, or you can send a, a mill five or any uh, name. So, yeah, I think uh, having more like power cards like that is really good in the deck because you're always deck thinning, you're always shuffling back resources. Um, so I think I might try that going forward. Um, and then for the spells, played uh, instant of course, three planets, um, one terraforming. I decided to play two scream. I think um, there's some situations where I switch this off kit, especially in a, in a, well, it comes up into a grind game. Um, it's actually nuts, and in the mirror match, it's really strong going first, and I think it's good to go in second as well in the mirror match. Um, so. I like to scream again. It's searchable. It's not bad. It's a really good mill actually. It's really strong to send off uh, your Clydo heart to add a trap. Um, yeah, I like to. Um, I think I kept these in going first and second, and then I decided to play heartbeat. My definitely after this weekend. Well, before the weekend, I was really cut on this. I was like, I really wanted the utility of this card um, for back row removal and for the option uh, to re add a trap when it's sent to grave. But I think after the weekend, I just didn't need it at all. It could be cut or even play three in the side for back row hate. Um, but yeah, the utility to have this card in the main deck was nice because if you get like heavy milled or if you're milling heavy during your turn um, and you can't get to the second trap card, having like Kaleido Heart with um, Field Spell, pop the Kaleido Heart to send this to Riyadh to ensure double trap is really cool and like it came up a lot. But again, um, I think it's definitely cuttable. If you're going to play more Shizus, uh, this card would be one of the first cards to come out. And then I played uh, Double Trap because um, I liked um, playing Crime. Some people just too Sulik because um, it's a better mill and you don't really need the Crime in the mirror match. Um, but I felt like the game plan was to set up Dweller a big tier in Crime because that ensures that your uh, Dweller doesn't get hit with Imperm Droplet. And this actually protected my Dweller twice from Imperm and Droplet. So I was happy I played this. Plus it raises the ceiling of the deck a little bit higher. Um, gives you better, like more uh, coverage for other matchups as well. And it's an easy side that target going second. So uh, plus if they bestial you and you mill this, it's a free add, free card back um, really. So yeah, I, I'm happy I played this. I think I'd keep playing it going forward. Um, but yeah, that's the main deck, uh, 40 cards, fairly standard, um, other than a few changes that I said I'd make um, or test going forward. And then for the um, extra deck, I played for the Lynx, uh, Phoenix, Sprint, Dark. So I cut Elf. I, I believe that was a mistake. I should have played Elf over the Phoenix. Uh, my theory was I, I wasn't sure people were actually going to play uh, Dimensional Fisher, Macrocosm etc so i wanted like a generic way to get in theory i should have played tornado dragon for those situations on their turn but gives you an option for zeus and it can pop stuff yeah quick effect during their turn as well so i think this was a mistake to play this it should have been elf elf come up way more um than i thought it would it like in testing to come up like now and then but um yeah, I, I think you cut this going forward. And if you wanted to play the the spell trap card out, you play a Tornado Dragon. Having the Shizu card in hand to have a level four toolbox is way stronger. So yeah, definitely cut this going forward um, for sure. Um, and then obviously these two are really standard. The power play, if they have Magnum, take the Magnum effects and then make a spring. It's like such a powerful play. Um, and then for the rest of the extra deck, really standard, I, I believe. I don't think it's anything uh, too out of the ordinary. All the standard six fusions. Redo, I think, is mandatory um, to play around Bestials, Ossi Dweller, um, Baguska, Zeus, Beatrice, and Wallow. I think Wallow is really insane because I'm playing all nine Bestials. Having that rank six toolbox in the deck is really nice. Um, having it as a uh, monster towers out um, in testing, like Abramax out, is like, really strong. Um, it came up once or twice in uh, YCS where I was taking cards from my opponent's grave. I think I took a Foolish Burial off this as well um, to continue playing, which was really insane. And yeah, I, I really like this card. I think if you were to cut one of these, though, you'd cut the Wallow over the Beatrice. But again, because I'm playing more Bestials, it made sense um, to play both of them. 
But I think these cards are the flex spots. I think Elf and Baron, um, or even uh, also the Earth Charmer is like really solid as well. Um, I was testing that a bit. So these are like all good options, but this is a fairly standard um, extra deck apart from this. And then uh, for the side deck, um, fairly standard. I think I've made a mistake in my side deck, which I got into in a minute. That that was like coverage of um, flu matchup, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, so talents uh, two for going first in the mirror, and then I wanted to call by for shifter out, um, and it's good against like hand trap decks. Uh, I only play this in the mirror if I know they're on orange light. Or although orange light is at one. Um, I don't want to get sacked by like an orange light um, pitching like a shuffle back on my turn. So I'd rather have this um, going first in the mirror if I know they're playing orange light or more um, Ashizu cards. So yeah, that was fine. And then Ghost Bell, I think Ghost Bell was like probably the best card in the side deck um, for me this weekend. It, I played uh, a lot of mirror matches and a lot of times they were just doing redoer to play on a bestial. But they were playing like really hard into Bell, and I would just yeah they'd get super punished if say if I open this plus another any other bestial, um, it was like so strong. Plus if you're uh, in a grind game with your opponent, this uh, negating the shuffle back is just like massive as well. Um, so yeah, this going first and second in the mirror is like really strong for me. Um, and then uh, generic back row hate uh, lightning storm for like Flunder as well. Uh, this is good against Rogue, um, any bit heavy negation boards, uh, plus like Sprite is like solid. And then I played only the one Banshee and one Zombie World. Um, I should have played more of these cards, I got really punished in top 32 for not playing more. Um, because um, I was just, my, I had really bad nails um, game 2 and yeah, I just didn't hit like, any of these. Obviously everyone knows the line where um, you mirror your opponent's deck, take a shifter and then make a uh, Garura to then make a Beatrice to send this. So that was the theory of just playing the one of one on one. But in theory, if they cosmic this, which fl flu should always side a second, like an out to this going second, um, even first as well. But cosmic on this and then having a, a, not another one to um, to recycle, it was like it was quite it, it sucked a bit, but. Yeah, I think you max out, or not max out, at least play like five copies of these going forward um, to respect that matchup more. So, because I think more people are going to play it like as the format goes on because it's a good shifter deck. <laughs> so, and then the last card was um, Harpy's Feather Duster. So this was actually um, going to be Scattershot, but I didn't need Scattershot because remote doors are 50 minutes and I only went into time like twice. And scatter shot wasn't relevant then because I was it was like mid game two, um, where siding wasn't applicable. So the duster just for like flug it out and for flu and plus any sort of rogue straggler deck that I played in Swiss. Um, but yeah, this would probably be scatter shot if I were to play a real event. But uh, yeah, that is the uh, deck profile, guys. Really like standard. A um, couple of changes I said I'd make. Um, still going to test the deck a bit more ahead of Sydney. And yeah, looking forward to playing uh, more tournaments, um, sharing more deck profiles for you guys. I'm sure the team will have more topping deck profiles soon. So like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.